Alright, I received my package yesterday from Tumblr. So here's the challenge lock he made. This is a 5 pin Yale style cylinder. It works very nice. And then he has this little brass tag. T3R. And it looks like in pen he wrote Tumblr on there, but the stamping looks a lot better. And there we go, Tumblr. Not focusing too well. There we go. And he also sent me this lock without a key. This is a tubular lock, a 7 pin ace uh, lock. This was used for some kind of switch, electronic switch. Um, I don't have tools to pick this. Um, I think I'm going to attempt to make some kind of tension wrench for it uh, when I get a chance. <clears throat> Alright, so... Let's take a look at this. I, I did manage to pick it clockwise. It seems a lot more difficult counterclockwise, so... I'm going to stick with clockwise for now. <laughs> and we use a DeForce Diamond from Peterson. Alright. And that clicks and all types of stuff going on inside here. Sometimes I have to turn the core back. Or I'm kind of like uh, locked up. That's it. <laughs> you call that a challenge lock. <laughs> no, actually I got lucky on that one. Uh, I'm going to try to pick it counterclockwise while I'm at it. Uh, this I didn't do. I tried for a couple minutes and uh, got angry. Well, not angry, frustrated. Because it kind of locks up. And then. I'm not sure what happens with pin 1. I'm not really getting anything out of him. There we go. Well done. Now, I won this from Tumblr. He has, uh, if you wait until the end of his video, the uh, past two videos, he gave away challenge locks. So, I recommend watching his videos to the end or maybe getting notifications so you can try to win yourself a lock if you answer his riddles. And, uh... I happened to just go on my phone and uh, notice the video right after it was uploaded, so I was, I was the first one. And then the last video he uploaded, it was a Texas Gym Lock, which was already claimed, but um, I gave him that. <laughs> I gave him that one, so I didn't want it back. All right. So there's a lot of clicking in here because we have uh, let me zoom in a little bit. We have some threading and a little bit of counter milling in there. Okay. Move all this junk out of the way. Alright, so some homemade pins. <laughs> okay. That's great. Maybe that's why I was getting frustrated because I had I was stuck on a full set on one of these key pins. Oh, 
Wow. That's incredible. That's probably why. And uh, I had to turn the core back because these are so deep and it was, uh, even if I release tension a little bit, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't dropping down. It looks like pin one might be stuck in there. There we go. Oh shoot. There we go. Alright, so pin one looks like so. Yeah. We'll try for one. <clears throat> yeah, these are all types of homemade pins. Which I always like. One of these days, I'm going to get a pair of proper pinning tweezers, but until then, I have to do this the hard way. Alright, so I guess this is why I have to, let's see, get some, alright, looks like pin number three is still in there, so I think this was there, this was there, and pin three, still in there, big strong pins, or uh, springs. Get it out the old fashioned way. Is there a pin in there? I can't even tell. Yeah, it's in chamber number three. You know what it is? These are threaded too from the top. And it got jammed up in there for me, prying it up. There we go. I was able to eject it. Oh, wow. What is this? It's very thin. It looks like it's made out of two parts. I'm not too sure. What is that? Oh, so I think it got stuck on this little lip here. A little sharp lip. Well, that's interesting. Alright, so that was driver three. And these are just big springs. That's what I need. I need some springs. Okay, so here we go, so, um, I'm not sure if he made this or if it was, you know, it looks like he made it, this was a modified uh, driver or a key pin flipped upside down, and so was, so these other ones, are, especially this one right here. Well, this was in, like so, pointing down. I try to grab onto the, the threads. All right, well done. Um, yeah, this one is interesting. That's my favorite one. All right, so uh, it was well done. Thanks a lot for the um, for the challenge lock uh, tumbler, and thanks for the tubular lock. Now I'm going to try to make a tension tool for this. I've never had a tubular lock, so that should be interesting. Um, and if you haven't uh, subscribed to him, you should check out his uh, channel. It's Tumblr with a three. Thanks for watching, and happy picking.